Man of Medan. So, Daryl, since you've never seen these type of games, I shall explain it a little bit. Um, these games are, uh, like, choice-driven. Your deci- your, the, the decision you make in the, in the moment, whatever, dialogue, whatever, affects how the story plays out, and you don't really know what the effect is gonna be. <laughs> Life is strange, but it's a horror movie. I guess, yeah, that's probably the correct way to do it. Say it. Um, basically, it's the butterfly effect. Your decision is going to affect something, but you don't know what it's going to affect. That's what it is. Alright. Um, let's see, how stable are we? We are not very stable. To die? <laughs> no, we're not doing die. Alright, so technically I could play this with somebody else, but I don't know anybody else that has the game, so... I'm playing it by myself. And playing this with another person is a pain in the ass to get going. Alright, so we're doing a solo story. Everybody ready? New story. Idaho, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. I lurked a little bit of your stream earlier. I was kind of busy with Munchkin and uh, wrapping up some things, so I didn't get to say anything, but I was lurking. That game you were playing looks interesting, but I don't think I'm willing to put $30 in it at the moment. Uh, okay, so we gotta play the, uh, we gotta play through one. And Daryl, we will be playing, uh, Death and Taxes, um, most likely this weekend, if not Thursday. We will see. He was playing, um, a game called Stray. It was recently released on, uh, Steam, and I really liked it. It looks cool. You're welcome. Yeah, it's a cat game. So we have some coffins. It seems, to me, it seems kind of weird that they're not strapped down to anything. Or are they bolted down? Buster, we better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Oh my goodness. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? You have got a question? You asked to ask the tiles? Okay, so we have to... Um... Lordon, hello! Let's see. Curious, um... Alright, what do you guys say? Will I be rich or tell me about my son? Death and taxes sounds like every day in Russia. I mean, it's every day here, too. Son? Alright. Hey, Kerb. How are you? Curious. Son. Alright. 
Right, come on over here, game. There we go. Over here. Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh... Well, why are you brain dead? Is he gonna grow up all right? Things gonna work out for him? Nothing's gonna work out for him. Let's see. I'm doing adjustments in real time. I'm gonna put that there. Continue. Oh, we have to choose a tile. Um, okay, dragon tile or bamboo tile? Well, I've been awake since midnight and now it's midday. Well, I mean, it was your choice to get up at midnight and try to pull a US shift. Alright, so Curb has voted for bamboo. Anybody else? These, some, the, these beginning ones are uh, options that I can actually ask you guys on later on. Things won't be as simple. Dragon equals good. Okay. So we got one vote for dragon, one vote for bamboo. Anybody else? His dad's going to die soon. I assume your kid's future doesn't look good. <laughs> Uh, sure, Curb. Sure. You're just trying to pull a U.S. shift. I see what it is. But, Daryl, that doesn't answer the question. Bamboo tile or dragon tile? Dragon because bamboo hurts. <laughs> God, we're still in a tie. <laughs> oh, God, Daryl. <laughs> Fuck no, I want to wake up at 5 a.m. Do a no, I don't want to do a poll. Polls are boring. Fuck the polls. I keep up with what everybody says. Alright, so we're doing bamboo. Can't say jump by. Fuck the polls. Um Alright, so we are gonna we have to press and hold. And then we move to examine. It Looks like a fish. We got a fish. Your fortune. They come from any direction. Like a mysterious wind. But when a wind like this may blow, death and doom are sure to follow. Death? What? I want to know how mean? he knows Chinese. Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Hey, bud. Let me get a go at it. Oh, yeah? Think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter. I'm gonna start a tab. Um... Technically, Until Dawn is the first um, game that the company did, but I think I think Man of Medan is the first one within this particular storyline they're they're doing. I think it's technically the first one within the the realm of the Dark Pictures anthology. Dance on the pole? I don't dance on the poles. You're gonna have to go to somebody else for that one. She looks so disinterested. She could give it. She could care less. Wait, wait, D. Oh, okay. I thought you said you could fight. <laughs> Do we gotta do this? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> looks like I'm the karate master now. 
<laughs> we got an achievement too. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. We gotta get back, everybody. We gotta get back to the ship. We don't want to be stranded here. It'd be a bad thing. Alright, what do we got here? There's a skull and crossbones on it, which means we shouldn't touch it. Yeah, it's whack-a-mole where the mole fights back. And of course, of course, death goes, It's Kung Fu, you fool! <laughs> Ten dollars the ship sinks. Um Okay. I don't think the ship sinks though. What do you want to say those crates have something in it that there shouldn't be in it? Hey man. Hey, where's my where's my fifty cents? Fifty cents? What fifty cents? Hey, come on, man! Hey! Buzz off! Buddy. Nobody pushes me around! Wow! That escalated very quickly. In my medical opinion, these men appear to be drunk off their rear ends. Get this one to the medical ward. Throw the other in the fridge. And keep him there. Damn! The wow! Okay. Just whop! Boo. Yeah, I don't think the ship sinks. If I remember correctly, the ship doesn't sink. <laughs> Daryl likes the sergeant that figures. <laughs> he did. He definitely woke up and chose violence. I agree. Uh-oh. Ugh, what is that? That's not good. We got some chemical warfare going on, everybody. That's not good. What's it gonna do to everyone? The dude only punched him in the eye. What do you mean, concussion? Great, another zombie game. <laughs> Wait, why would they sedate him? Why are there mysterious goo crates on a U.S. morgue? I have no idea, Death. Luna, how are you doing? And I don't believe you. What did you do? Luna, what have you done? Oh, okay. Okay, so I think that's supposed to be our son. Can I look at that again? Two pops. Come back soon. I think Daryl... I, Daryl, I agree with you. I think Luna has definitely popped in and done something. All right, so are we in the hospital ward? Is that what's going on here? Luna, what have you done? What am I not aware of that you have done? Oh shit! What the hell? Why is why is the doctor dead? I'm sorry, I gotta turn it down. It's a little bit loud in my ears. I suspect otherwise as well. I, I, I don't... I don't believe Luna. A hell of a prank, that's for sure. Got that right.
All right, so we got a key. I don't know why we need a key, but we have a key. Ganja morning. This is creep the this is creepy spooky eek game. Of course someone is dead. But why is someone dead? Can we can we look? Or is that all we're gonna do? Okay. I'm telling it's Ganja's people, that's what it is. That's his 50 cent on the floor, I agree. Um, can we go this way? Nope. Can we go this way? Golly, the, the, the walking in this, holy shit. I hate fixed camera angles. Oh, what did we find? Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell is going on out there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Dude, why why did we zoom in on his face? What's in here? What's this? Um, what is this? In that private Charles Anderson on leave from duty did display intoxication in a manner not becoming of the member of the U.S. Army, Private Anderson has in was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument. It is the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl. And steps were taken to ensure that both men were returned to the ship. The brig for ten days is approved. Alright. This was written by the sergeant that slugged him. All I'm saying, missiles are stored in crates that look very similar to those that hold them. Ah. No, Luna, the stream's still going. Signature is terrible. I, I agree with you, Curve. Oh, what's this? Brig Week 27, Monday. Arthur Miller, pri uh, petty theft, one day in the brig. Small items belonging to senior officer found in Miller's locker. Items recovered and returned to owner. Uh, Davis trespassed two days. Briggs found off limits in cargo. Hold 3A with no reason to be there. Flagrant disregard for orders. Okay, wait a minute. So the one dude got two days in the brig for, for being somewhere he wasn't supposed to be. And the guy that stole something got one day in the brig. Lewis Brand, public intoxication, one day brig, found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. military while on shore. Uh, okay, so one day for being publicly intoxicated. Why the fuck? I, 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 okay. Punishments don't seem realistic, but okay. Ooh, we got blood. Did Luna get his stream refreshed? I'm asking too many questions to the brig with me? No, Daryl! Daryl, that's just mean. I don't want to go to the brig. Can we go this way? 
These camera angles. Oh my goodness. Fucking hell. Oh no. Oh wait, that's the sergeant that slugged us. died no but welcome back Luna that was the sergeant that slugged us can we go this way what the hell I don't want to go this way what's over here can't go that way can I go this way no nope. could have sworn there was something else over there You didn't check your corners, you just had a hostage in your team dead, soldier. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Get him, Sarge. <laughs> I believe in you. <laughs> do, do we even know what the Sarge is going after? Let's go this way. Here we go. What was that? Uh oh. What was that? Oh wait, how how did how did that how did that run across when there's no room to run across from? What happened? Hey, Charlie, help! Okay, I guess this is where we were supposed to go. Okay, well, we'll do that in a second. I want to see if there's anything back here. I think that's where we're supposed to go. Is there anything over here? What's this? Again with the questions <laughs> another day in the break. Daryl! But the thing is, there was nothing going, there was nowhere for it to go across there. There was no door it came out of. Nothing. So I want to know what it was and where it went. Oh shit! God Fuck damn it. No. Yeah, you said it. Fubar and this. <sighs> I wasn't expecting that. That startled the shit out of me. So, so we're not gonna look at anything? Like, nothing? We're not gonna see if he's got any weapons or anything on him? Nada? Really? We're... Are we really this dumb? God damn. Another stiff? Who's we're... a lucky winner? We don't know what the fuck is going on, and they're not searching any of these bodies for weapons or anything. Stop oh, sleeping on the job. Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. Poor fucker. <laughs> there is a killer on the loose. Oh, wait, wait, did anybody notice that there's that weird, creepy fog behind us? From those containers? Did anybody see that? Are we, is that what we're walking through? Is that weird, creepy fog? What's watching us? I don't like this.
Look, you guys see all that weird fog on the ground? Looks like he died of bone itsitis. Or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Well, it looks like a guy who's like to talk about his feelings. <laughs> you look like a mess on wheels, Chuck. Looks like rapid onset lead poisoning to the neck. Oh, fucking hell. Oh. I have no idea what I pressed. I just know that startled the shit out of me. <laughs> hey, Chuck. You see that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling all right? <laughs> All right, so, so we saw a kid. He didn't. There's some dead soldiers over there. Um, nothing back there. Do we have to walk this way? We gotta walk this way! Okay. Um, why are you looking at the Jeep at the end? Why are they looking at the vehicles? Something is obviously not right. Soldiers are dead. We don't know what the fuck's going on. You hid from your own sergeant. What the hell? Ships are not loaded like that. I mean, this was back during World War II, I think, Luna. See, I told you, room temperature IQ. Charlie, wait, which one was Charlie? Wasn't Charlie his friend? Oh, wait, he's. Wait, the kid's got a knife. Oh. Um. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, we didn't eat the child. But now he's dead. <laughs> That's right, Kurt, but now I'm dead. Is anyone there? Hello, can anyone out there? Game devs don't know shit about firearms deaths. <laughs> Luna, we've established that a long time ago. What the hell is that? They were supposed to still be in the brig. They didn't want to get... What the fuck? Yeah, the ship was an anchor. You're right, Luna. Oh, 
come to save our humanity. Does anyone die with their mouths closed anymore? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Starring Sean Ashmore. Ariel Polk, Yusha Pisha, I think I missed the names. Chris and Fire, Kareem, Aileen. Well, what is this? I agree, Luna, it makes absolutely no sense. Hello, curator. How are you? In case you guys didn't know, this particular song, Oh Death, they actually aren't even 100% of where the origin of it comes from. <laughs> no, this particular song is actually not a rock song. It, they don't know exactly where the origins of it is. Um, it is, the lyrics are registered with, um, the halls of Congress under, uh, uh, the library information, and, uh, multiple people have done different variations of it. Hello, and welcome to my repository. Honestly, the one they did that for, uh, the one that, the, the version they did for Until Dawn is the best that I've heard yet. And also the one that Supernatural did. Supernatural did a version of it that looks real, that sounds very good as well. I am the curator. Hello, the curator. curator. Stories. Stories of love and hate, greed and beauty. Life and death. Stories such as this one. Life and death, you say? I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You okay. see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. Are you you don't say. The lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish, or whether they are snuffed out. Oh, they did great with it in Supernatural. I wish they had done you a whole see, song. We each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. You don't say, my but good you sir. fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. I don't fear death. I know it is inevitable. Lived, and it comes eventually to everybody. Death, how so dare you? None of us want for it to come too soon, do we? No. As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. If you say I'll be so. keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. You don't say. If you can find them and study them. They may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for Okay, the my good we'll sir. We'll again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. <laughs> hey, Luca. It's inevitable. Things are inevitably going to change. I agree. I'm a nice guy, no need to fear me. I'm not sure you're a pulls out a list. Vampire, werewolf, fairy, the Buddha. <laughs> well then Ganja has a reason to fear fear you, and Kitty and Llama have a reason to fear you. And I guess since I lead a wolf pack, I have a reason to fear you, even though I don't consider myself a werewolf. So He said fairy, not furry. Witty, Brad, Alex's brother, innocent. 
Apparently you're just being a vampire, Ganja. So we have Brad, I think. Motivated, Alex, Brad's brother, Julia's boyfriend, insecure. I didn't shave, does that count? Uh huh. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Well, he claims yeah. he's a vampire. Water. Diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Um, um, uh, uh, insecure, resentful, fuck. I had to work. <laughs> Just didn't, I didn't have time, you know, I had to work all summer. Oh, uh, fair enough, fair enough. He's a werewolf. <laughs> He's an involuntary furry time to put like, Damn, Kirby. <laughs> Be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? Don't sweat the wool stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Oh shit, it's timing us. Um, uh, I was invited. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? Oh, that's kind of rude, dude. Right, your girlfriend God, wanted your brother to come along, but you him. didn't. And now you're going to berate him we'll for the fact that your up, girlfriend wanted to come, but not you. You're a dick. Julia, it's been rough. Okay. It's been two weeks. It's only been two weeks. It's what do you mean? Like two weeks. Huh? <clears throat> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Well, Ganja, you get to sit here and criticize us with it. Hey! I did say he was insecure. Well, fuck that. I'm gonna make him the boldest bitch on the boat. <laughs> what a douche canoe. Push him off the boat and take it. It's just kind of a big life choice, you know? It's hard to know what's the right thing to do. Wait, what? Uh, you sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. Just a heavy di dialogue point and click. That's not the point, Ganja. We're hey. gonna have fun. Excited, Julia, Conrad's sister, Alex's girlfriend, reckless. Conrad is foolhardy. Julia's si brother and relaxed. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> I saw that, Ganja. I just can't get it at the right moment. <laughs> I want to play it, but I just can't get it at the moment. This is Brad, by the way. My little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. I got other bills I gotta be yeah, paid first. Uh, uh, likewise. Nice hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Uh, uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with you. Okay, um, apprehensive, I guess, seasick, relaxed, cool. Um, um, yeah, sure, why not? Cool. <laughs> Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. <laughs> I'm gonna take, I'm gonna make the insecure one do all the crazy bat shit right things. Up, radical. I like the cut of your ship. Uh, it's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? No. I uh, weren't wearing team, um, honestly. No, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Water hey, virgin. Pop your cherry together. Good God. Gonna be gentle. Uh... Dude, are you sure you're not gay? <laughs> <laughs> that's a two hundred fifty thousand dollar boat to run minimum, and that's before Biden prices. I don't even think that's their boat. Impatient, Captain of the Duke of Milan, Courageous, Fliss. I think this is her boat. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? He's wearing a Hawaiian shirt. 
Nobody answered it. She just took off. What the fuck, bitch? Excuse me. Excuse me, exactly. Excuse me. Alamo, how are you doing tonight? What the fuck is wrong with her face? I have no idea. <laughs> What even was that? Get it all out. Uh, yeah. That was this chick being a bitch. Her name is you, uh, Fliss. Wanna go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh boy. Duke of Milan, offshore North French Peninsula. What about or Polynesia, over sorry. Here. That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. I don't know. Her name is Fliss. Uh, we're gonna do Brad optimistic. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. She got okay, kicked in the face by a dog. I'm yes, I'm petting too. I'm gonna go Good home. grief, Alamo. <laughs> oh, how you doing, yeah. Alamo? How have you been feeling? Feast your eyes on this. Ooh, we have a wreck. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, that kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Flip, no, not even a donkey a for. Yeah. God, y'all, quit being so uh, mean. Her face isn't that bad. And you realize these are based off the actors. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? What's up with her eyebrow movement? Uh, we're gonna do. We're gonna Look, do the dive. For all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. Her eyebrows are something else. The one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? Wait, wait, wait. C. What does C do? Relationship was, un was upgraded. What does that mean? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, so our relationship with Julia is strong. Everybody else is medium. I'm not sure what all this shit means, but okay. Back we go. We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final check. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Damn, that condescending hey, look on her. Do you see that condescending look she gave her brother when she was telling him what to do? Fucking hell. Hmm. Out. Alright, so can we look? Uh huh. Alright, I see nothing. What is this? There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Uh... Why do we have to scroll through all this like that, okay? I mean, no any of that glass would still be there if it wrecked. Okay. B29? I think so. Alright, can we talk to Fliss? Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Why? Um, 
Fine, we'll be uh, polite. Yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this Damn, Jester. for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. Very true, Curb. Very true. How much true. experience do you have with these kind of dice? Self-assured. I've stabbed a couple wrecks over the years. I'm an expert, but... Jester, you know, welcome experience. on in. How you doing if tonight? If your first unreported wreck, then Maybe you should B36, know there's a very specific can't tell. Yeah. protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Belligerent. Uh, how much? Fine. I get it. How much? How much what? How much money will it take for you to stop breathing down her necks? You... <laughs> this is not about the money. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Fine. Fuck you too. Okay. But Jester, how are you doing tonight? Hope you're doing well. How are things going at work? Alright, we gotta go check on our brother. And she's not wrong though. I think it is technically illegal to disturb a, um, a war grave without... Um, Wait, 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 wait. What was that? Can we can we watch that again? I want to watch that again. What was that? Was he hiding under the bed? Yeah, it's one of the choice games. Okay. up? How you doing? Sorry, that Bruski got the better of me. Uh, we're gonna go with... Hey, you, you don't I'll worry about it. Adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. Uh-huh. Took more than that, just a script trip. Let's get some rest. Come I mean, he's never dived before and you guys want to take him deep sea diving? Are you out of your minds? You don't take somebody deep sea diving that's never dived before. I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. Shroud of Innocence. It's only smelled as good as it cost. Guess it made her happy. What is Shroud of Innocence? Oh wait, I want to see the book. Can we look at the book? Alright, can I turn it at all? Nope, okay. Gotta learn sometime, Did, but not your first time, Daryl. A must read for anyone with an interest in Salem Witch Trials of 1692. Shroud of Innocence. Oh, okay. I think, uh, all right, that's, that's foreshadowing to the second game, uh, Lost, uh, Lost Hope, if I remember correctly. Which, we have, like, two or three of these games to play through, in case you guys are wondering. Just not tonight. Well, we, I don't even think we'll get through this one tonight. Not all wreckage is considered to be hands-off only if designated by whatever government agency has deemed it so. You can dive on shipwrecks with no problems 90% of the time, even wartime wrecks. Anything past, what, 40 meters is seriously dangerous? Something like that, Luna. I don't know if I have enough patience to wait for ARC server to be updated. Wait, is the ARC server updating? What do you mean? What do you mean, Curb? I think we've 
think we've seen okay. everything. So this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way out. State of the art. Okay. How long is he planning to run the summer event? Whoa, 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 Eager Beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Okay. Conrad, get the fishes? fuck over it. Let's see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Okay, he's taking a knife to the end. But how long is how long is the end? Wait, wait, wait. Um, I want to take the camera. You're on camera. I'll take the wheel. Let's get a before photo. Kids. That was a worst smile go. ever. Just remember the rules, please. Talk. Uh, romantic. Maybe we can fire it up again tonight for our private post dive special. <laughs> Are you gonna bring your bang stick? <laughs> that front cabin is gonna pop its portholes. <laughs> I don't know that what type of flirting that is, but okay. If both girls get their faces smashed by cast iron skillets. <laughs> Good grief, Alamo. I think all of the cast did. None of them look right. Oh. Whoa. Oh, we got sharks. No, I just so scoffed. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. Like I, I said, Curb, if you're bored, my friend has a server that she's willing to let uh, yeah. random people join. That's it. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. That's what she said. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Do 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 do. Six fifteen p.m. on June twentieth. You are not my second in command, third in command. No, fresh in your cabin, boy. Still a no. Your well-paying, dashingly handsome seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Um. Oh uh, shit, shit. Uh. Fuck, sure, why not? Sure, why not? I'm probably gonna get everybody killed anyways, but just so you know what, let's just. Pretty nice ride you got here. <laughs> Where'd you get the cash? Oh, I bet it is. Uh, it's a long story, so for sure, don't ask a lady about it. Don't you ask. You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself, and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. I have no idea, Alamo. Uh, impressed. It'd be my pleasure. Sorry, I got enough on my plate. Uh. Sorry, I have got enough on my plate for the moment. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. So why did it beep? What was wrong with it that made it beep? It beeped in Corming Storm. Duke of Milan, 20 miles north of the coast, over. Reading you. How can we help? Over. Uh. Weather report? Looking for a weather report in my area? Over. 
We've got a severe front heading into your vicinity from northwest. Thunder, lightning, 21 knot winds. Keep an eye on that. We'll check you in the AM rounds. Over. All right. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow then. Over. Might as well say thank you. No reason to be rude to the Coast Guard. They're the ones that'll save our ass if we get in trouble. Can we go down here? We can. Alright, so the picture does nothing for us. Go this way. Oh my goodness. This is worse than a point and click adventure. Can we go in the bathroom? No. Can we go in here? Aha! Why do I keep these around? Uh, that doesn't look good. Shit is in Celsius. The wheel is on the wrong side. Nope, not American. No, we are in the 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 French Polynesian uh peninsula thingy, Maduha. That's bad for a ship that size. That it is Luna. If I that sounded bad for a ship that size. Kitty, hello. How are you doing tonight? I hope you're doing well. Yes, we have spooky water game. Uh. Anything in here of interest? So we're just gonna poke through our client's shit? Okay. I mean, to be fair, I think not being in America is dodging them. Alright, we're not getting into that. Enough. Once again, game, game devs know less than nothing about ships, boats, and making pretty women, etc. <laughs> very true, Luna. Very true. Ooh, what's this? Fel Felicia DeBoss? Ten three eighty three birthday um five eight hundred and twenty brown brown the instructive identified as the rear is authorized to conduct classes in designated special Okay. I'm in so I'm already winning. <laughs> wait, 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 she just hid the ID. Something's not right. What we got here? We got binoculars. Not gonna lie, that looks janky as shit and fake as fuck. Yeah, it does curve. I agree. Um, that's not good. Oh, wait. wait. We want to look at this. Wow. That... Uh oh. What's that about? Um. Uh... Dismissive fishing boat. From the looks of it, how should we handle? There's this? no way the two have been diving that long. It's, yeah. Uh, be quiet and let me handle it. We are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? Hey, Guys, you gotta keep back. We've got divers in the water. Conrad, 
Keep your mouth shut. Hey, we got damage here. You see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks cover it? No, Conrad. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Oh. Well, shoot. You you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. Oh, Conrad, what the All fuck right, is you wrong with you? Bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. She's like, you're gonna get us fucking killed. She's looking at him like, are you fucking insane? <laughs> Conrad, you idiot. Who put him out on international, on foreign waters without some knowledge of some shit? Well, that's not good. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. The rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Conrad. Confirm B-29 Super Fortress. Okay. Luna has confirmed the site. The turret. South Pacific Wreck Sites. Uh, watch out for that metal piece. That metal piece. Are you kidding me? That the, the, there's a metal spike right there. And of course, I missed the damn quick time event. Whoa, careful. Could be dangerous. How did you not see that? Uh, ladies first. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go. Oh. Uh, we found a ship. Uh-oh. We found the super idiot of the game. No, all these, I, I'm sorry, all these people are idiots. Who, who was it that said they had a room IQ? Uh, death. That said th their IQ was the temperature of the room. He wasn't wrong. Excuse me, ma'am. Have you had your tetanus shot? Julia, leave it. <laughs> You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. The pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Uh, flippant, concerned. Fuck, she's reckless. Let's do flip it. Flip it. Such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad. And now Seriously? they're gonna not understand how I small did? things are on the inside. Uh huh. Edgelord? She's definitely gonna cause a new out new outbreak. I mean, her, her personality said she was reckless, so we might as well do the reckless shit. Uh-oh. Man, you almost got octopied. And I missed it. Damn these quick time events. Fucking hell. There we go. <laughs> Dude's got a brain <laughs> like a tits on both to uh, I'm fine. Chill out. I'm fine, see? No hmm, problem. fresh cut, blood, saw shark, nothing bad could go wrong, kids, no! Alright, so... It was a rescue plane. Launched from a US searching base. for progress, search area 1, 2, clear. Service rescue plan, flight, VFR search mission, aircraft type, B-28C air rescue, re- Reconnaissance plane, aircraft identification, ARS-01V74821. Text obscured, Kowalski. Takeoff, U.S. Airbase 
island destination. Interesting. Their way to help out a ship. Yep, Phil's going to eat him. I mean, we already knew that Phil was a shark, but this is just going to confirm it because Phil's going to try to eat him. Oh, wait, is this the way we came? Yeah, this is the way we came, I think. Yeah. Oh. VR visual flight rules? Okay. I still don't know what that means exactly, Alamo. Wait, was this shot down? Bullet hole. All down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. It was it so it was shot down. It's not like it had any mechanical failure or anything, it was okay. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold life flows. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Okay. Good God. Don't, don't touch him. Don't be that disrespectful. No. You disrespectful bitch. Wow. What the hell happened? The Japanese here? did shoot down quite well, a few B twenty nines, never they heard of one using ASAR. Huh. Uh oh. We gotta get out of here now. Uh, yeah, you do. Shark? Now there's a shark? Now come at me, shark! You dumb bitch, you're in the there's ocean. What'd you shark. think there was gonna be? In us. Let's go. She's bleeding! Did you forget this? Every shark within 20 miles of you is interested in you. Hold on. Uh, okay. I, uh... What are you doing? Why are you fidgeting? Uh, I don't know. I, I wanted to bring something up with you, but it's, it's not the best time. Okay. Um. Oh, you had something to raise with me, did you? <laughs> uh, doesn't matter. And don't the forget that they were used in the Korean War too. That's true. Jeez, Alex. You're more of a wreck than that plane that just literally fell apart on top of us. Give me a break, okay? Come on. We've really got to get up top. Cliff, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Okay. We, we have to decompress. Dang it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go. The Honey Keeper, thank you for raiding with a party of one. I appreciate it. How you doing tonight? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. Oh, they were lighting the grill, okay. There 
was a little, uh, mi All right. All right, Streamlabs. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Streamlabs is just going off with the alerts. You're doing good. I'm glad you're doing well. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. So far, the game's going good. Tap. With the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. Uh, what was the other... What was the other boat? What's up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is... What'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God, well, that's just fucking perfect. Chill out, bitch. They didn't do it. It was the other boat's fault. They didn't do it on purpose. Hello, Mr. Curator. And what posh accent are you going to use to criticize us today? You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers, then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. Just a wee bit. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. So they claim. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Conrad is a reckless fool who will get everybody killed. Adam. And then there's Captain Fliss. Strong, forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms. So far, at least. <laughs> Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. I wonder what happens if you make all the decisions to just make everybody assholes. I mean, like, in that scene, does he go, I don't know if everybody's going to live through this tale. Or does he say, you're doing horribly? I'm just kind of curious. How well preserved was the plane? <laughs> Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? It was a gray reef. Ah. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this. <laughs> yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Daryl would no, kill them all, and at this thing. point, I would too. I, I know, Luna. Check it out. <laughs> um. Is something, uh, yeah, Alex, something up. You're like an open book with a 50 point font. I can read you from a mile away. Something's up. It's nothing. I'm oh, fine. Bullshit. You're like Girl, do you even know how big a 50 point font would Julia, be if you printed it? Are you happy? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, of course. Why would you ask me that? I guess I'm just kind of anxious about, like, our future. You know? What's next? Nothing. Everything. Maybe. Who knows? I think we've got a long and happy future together. I do. I think really? I'm probably you gonna know, get you all killed. Pretty much the best thing that ever happened to me. Oh, I love you. I love you, Alex. God, that's some horrible kissing animation. You know where everybody is. I'll go get him. Why don't you just chill out here? Okay, hey, until Dawn right? had some What's jankiness that? to it, but uh, I swear no it, didn't, it wasn't as janky as this. Distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So. Get them all killed. You have my attention. I mean, no, with my luck, I will, Alamo. The magic happens. Uh, give it a What's rest. Your problem? Give it a rest already. Okay, that's enough of that. Conrad, Beers, where are they? 
Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. That's enough of what? She was, like, telling her brother to quit trying to fuck you, bitch. I mean, if you want to fuck him, just say so. Don't be admonishing the sister for telling her brother to grow up. What the hell? All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. They have a massive storm rolling in. And they're just going to sit on the boat? You all right? you seem kind why of are they not there. heading back to shore? Uh, I'm good. Sorry. Didn't realize I was freaking out. Why are they not heading back to shore? So, the Llama, how are you doing? Let me just say this I hope you're doing well. Sure sucks. <laughs> that is, it was just a three hour tour. Oh fuck, why can I, now I can't think of the theme song. I can't think of the tune. Damn it, Alamo. Damn it. <laughs> now I can't think of the tune. Come here, vixen. Easy, tiger. You should get back. I know you well enough. I mean, that 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 is true, Luna. Daryl would definitely try to definitely would have everybody killed. We are we are aware of this. This is the most unrealistic <laughs> no group of people there. I think I've ever seen in my right, life. Everyone. Check it out. At least until Don was a I'm little sure bit believable. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates. All now right. sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a faithful ship. It takes a couple hours if the weather's And I can't clear. remember uh, the rest of the else? song lyrics. There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. Just it's the annoying the ones. So all of them, plane. Luna. And then this plane must have been er, Daryl. It was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the lull. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have. Now, now, um, now, now, Alamo has me thinking. Just Wait, we have to hear it. Say a little thankful ship. <laughs> <laughs> just for you to make it sound like I'm just Daryl. Since when are you not out for blood? I mean, when, since when are you never out for blood? I want to know. See, there we go. Alamo has jogged my memory, and we had to listen to the song. <laughs> God, it's been years since I've heard this opening theme song. <laughs> Loves MK40 <laughs> with malicious intentions. Okay, sure, Luna. I'm sure it happened once or twice. I mean, I'm, I know it happened a lot, Daryl. 
Okay, now that I have officially brought everybody to nostalgia and gone back to Gilligan's Isle, we'll go back to the game. Never gone down to that plane <laughs> in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has if an only you're out of submarine. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred. Well, yeah, we gotta have a submarine mint of coconuts. Right? Exactly, Daryl. Yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. It, uh, how old are these people supposed to be? I'm confused as if they're supposed to be, um... Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good year. Like in, it's like in their early 20s? Up. Or are they supposed to be in their 30s? Because all these people look, look like they're in their early 30s. This story is true. It has happened but they're acting like they're in their in 20s. Their early 20s. Class like 21, class. 22. Wait. True story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse <laughs> on top of the toll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into Is that Iceman? I have no idea. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. One track mind. Key of the one track mind. The woman answers, I live here in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, That isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So they go to the top of the lighthouse. Childification of 30 year olds? That's what it feels floor. like. It's a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts. Dude, the why the f all, you need to go out in the country up, more often. I mean, just giblets. step outside Relax. your city limits a little bit, please. Good grief. Mm. You know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Okay, so... Who did who it? Who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet and says, he's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. So the lighthouse keeper Ooh. creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and, sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. And it's his own? Closer. Closer. And he sees. It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> I think it's hilarious that he got them. That didn't scare me, but that got them. <laughs> you me going. Pretty cool. I think you told it better last time. But good effort. Okay. <laughs> You've all had your fun in shows where they are supposed to be in high school and they're in their mid twenties. No, 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 so. no, yeah, exactly. Kidding. We're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? And, and see, I I have a theory for why they do that. I think the reason that they hire people who are in their early twenties to play high schoolers is one because they can work them longer hours and two they can make them do scenes that high schoolers technically couldn't do without getting in a lot of trouble that is my theory for why they they have they hire uh people in their early 20s to play high schoolers <laughs> it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol I, and i agree i agree uh, luna city folks clearly made the movie the internet. oh so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance exactly orders, man. i'm into this website <laughs> and four good buddy and i'm out they they how is this experienced boat pilot not concerned about that storm that storm that's rolling in is not pretty for a boat that size she should be very concerned about this And nobody is awake 
keeping an eye on the storm? Nobody? And now we have three shadow figures on the boat. We're all fucked. Well, okay. They're just gonna stand there with their fists in their hands. A storm. <coughs> oh! <coughs> Shit! I keep missing all these quick time events. The storm is old enough to look out for itself. The pirates are back. Nope, the storm is fine. The three murderous cult members are fine. Everything is fine. Exactly, Kitty. Everything is just fine. See, this is where Conrad fucked up. Conrad is a disrespectful asshole. See, this is where... This is where they fucked up. They allowed their lips to touch the duct tape. Conrad, a.k.a. Ricky, a certain kind of pirate, yeah. Alright, let, let's ungag everybody. She would have just ripped her lips right off. If anybody ever puts duct tape on your mouth, make sure you tuck your lips inside so that they don't rip off when their duct tape's taken off. Just saying. So. He offered him a couple hundred bucks. Did you see how much he threw at him? But he was a disrespectful cunt. Hey! Hey! Stop it! Wait, who shut the door? Why did we not see them put a bandage on her legs? Now she's gonna talk your ears off. Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of... Maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot. Safe time! Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? Here. We're in a lot of danger. Uh, we need to untie everybody. We gotta get untied right now. <laughs> Shit. It's no good. Come on. Uh oh. be back for you later that was the most pathetic kick i think i've ever seen in my life nobody knows you're out here little lady you're all alone with us now let's make the most of it you can go fuck yourself you piece of shit you're the little lady <laughs> yep Um, what do you want? What do you fuckers want? It's the 
slow down. Easy. Uh... Please. Just stop, man. We finish with him later. Fall down, he's just gonna keep hitting you. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, Daryl. It is a bunny kitty. Julian, they're coming back. Huh. Oh, Jesus, Conrad. Ah, Conrad's gonna have a few black eyes. He'll be all right. Wait, wait, no! Alex! Stop it! Let her go! You bastards! Hey. Dipstick! Shut the fuck up! Dipstick! <laughs> He's okay. No, I didn't. I hope he's alright. Alright. That Come boat on. is not that big by a long shot for fuck's sake. I know, Luna, it's not. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take them by surprise. Okay. They're coming. A few. I don't think he'll get any more than two black eyes. I mean, it's just a few black eyes. Just a few, Daryl. I mean, you can get multiple hey, hey, bruises on your eyes. What they do to you? Dude, uncut. Didn't touch me. Uncut her hands. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. To wait and see what they want to do with us. Uh, they'll try to maybe use you for ransom and then they're gonna rape you and then they're gonna kill you. Eight seconds. Depending on what type Storm of pirates is brown eyes in here on a boat, maybe could get punched it. too. Yeah. I mean yeah. that's true, Alamo got a gun well at least one of us can get on their boat yeah she's still wearing it's pants well. so it could definitely be worse uh we're gonna be belligerent These fuckers need to pay we gotta take them down they can try to fight back but if we had the gun they'd be forced to surrender seven seconds now look get out through the window we gotta break these loot 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 loose we're gonna loose. break during the thunder <sighs> that is the worst torture you could do to me Making me do your taxes is the worst fucking thing you can do, and I do accounting for a living. Your taxes are done with three buttons. Mine are not, unfortunately. Ah, uh, we gotta stay calm. I missed it. I am horrible at these quick time events. Good God. I am so gonna fucking die. 
<laughs> You're pretty stupid. Conrad! Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Escape! Fly, you fools! Who's the captain now? Them? Sit down. Over there. You. Oh. Right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de cons! C'est mon bateau! In French? Wait, why is she yelling in French? Why are they yelling in French? Okay, whatever. Olsen! Come here! French Polynesian? Okay. Which one of you is gonna tell me about this? Manchurian go. They ever mention what they're after? Um, other than the brief mention of wanting to know who their parents are, no, they haven't, Daryl. Now they're after what they think is gold. Voodoo time! Twelve twelve a.m. on June twenty-first. I want to know how the fuck they're sailing through a storm that big. I wonder if me missing all those quick time events actually what kept Conrad alright. We could have gotten the boat back and you blew it. Yeah. I get it. Alright. Shut the fuck up! Dude, you need to learn how to use fuck appropriately. <laughs> oh, give me a break with that gangster shit. I don't think you fully comprehend the severity of your situation, sister. I'm just gonna say it. Bliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's a captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? I agree with her on this How one. Fucking dare you, you Shoot! Daryl wants everybody dead. You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us there up! There I asshole! Put a cork in it. Oh, ah. shit. <laughs> Motherfucking quick time <laughs> events! <laughs> They're in cahoots! Cahoots is not used enough. As long as it's moving into the wave, sure, Alamo sitting still, it could get wrecked. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Do you try anything? Anything fishy? And there'll be consequences. Get it. Okay. It's Milan requesting weather update. Over. Uh. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. Uh. I didn't know what to do there, so I just left it. <laughs> I ain't time to get people killed. I think I've already done that, Kirby. Shit. Everything's better when we help each other out. You get that? Don't you? Is it just my humble opinion that the hostage takers are just as dumb? 
Oh, the hostage takers are more dumb, Daryl. up the quick time events everybody's gonna die <laughs> everybody's gonna die anyone know about Brad is he hiding somewhere shut up Julia Manchurian gold is the name of an extremely hazardous chemical bioweapon we can't leave him down there he could drown we need to get Meg, hi, how are you? Brad, buddy, come out! Dude, shut the fuck up! How you doing, Meg? Hey, there's a boat. Alamo, do I even want to know how you know that Manchurian gold is the name for a chemical bioweapon? <laughs> hey, we saw that boat at the beginning. Well, these guys aren't very smart. Yeah, Llama did show up to, to um, watch alive. people die. Things could have been quite different. Yep, Llama felt it in the force. I told you he's going to be disciplined. The I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? No. Shut the fuck up and let me play the story, Curator. <laughs> okay, then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. <laughs> the Merchant of Venice. Shadow, hello. Scene seven. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads... All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that toast. Okay. I like your hints. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significance... My good distress, sir! My good posh sir! I presume sir. you're eager to get back to your story. But here's I am! The thing. I want my story! Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Oh, are we getting drunk? Do we get to get drunk? Probably shouldn't have said that. Llama, I want pork belly. Are you gonna send me some? When I eventually make the the, the, the box to send things to? La porte! La porte! Vite! La porte! The door! The door! Quick! La porte! They're all gonna die. Llama's cooking for all of us. Junior. Maybe if you ever make the box. Okay, Llama. They took the distributor cap. Or, uh, something. Go. There ain't no way in hell. That's tetanite, that's ten tetanus which is waiting to happen. And who knows what other kinds of infections. They're gonna get AIDS off this boat, I'm telling you now. I'm gonna make the box, Llama. Eventually. 
one of these days. Hopefully this Jeez. weekend. The plan is to do it Saturday. Uh, apparently not, Daryl. Nobody has any type of survival instincts. Uh, yes, because AIDS is the worst case. <laughs> I mean, it is curb. It is. Making two different flavors. Both have garlic butter and Japanese. Ooh, that sounds good, Llama. What's in the box? It's going to be a mailbox, Jester. People can send stuff to it if they really want to. Nobody has to, but if they want to. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Hey! That was mean. What was that? We're going to get Conrad killed because I'm trying to look around. The whole place is a floating death trap. You don't say. You're likely going to get athlete's foot and then cellulitis and then you're going to then you're going to get AIDS and then you're just you're going to get tetanus and it's just nothing's going to be able to save you at this point. You're all fucked. It doesn't even matter what's actually happening in the story. You're all fucked. I mean, you have an open cut, and look, you just probably cut your wrist too. You have an open cut on your your knee. She's dead for sure. She's caught every disease under the sun. Ugh. I did not sign up for a trip to Creep Town. Something about this place is making my hair stick up so far it's gonna jump out of my neck. Uh, do you dare look death in the eyes? Wait a minute. Isn't that the creature we saw at the beginning? Go in the door. There we go. I mean, I do have a sound alert that you guys can trigger that says put the bunny back in the box. Guess no one watches good movies around here. I have no eyes though. This is creepy. What the hell do these dickheads want with us? I mean, it could be Meg. We never know. Could be many different things. Could be the box. Oh, I know. I have fucked up so many QTEs. I don't know how anybody is still alive. What does this say? Internal more, more uh, internal memo. Fourteenth Division Army. You've covered Peterson's guard duties tomorrow. He is sick again, conveniently. It's always when he has guard duties in hold A3 for check the... Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, it's on the back. Again, this is the third time this week. None of us like it down there. Maybe Patterson should, should buckle up. Just get on it. Okay. I would want to sit next to Conrad. What if they shoot him and a bullet just goes right through? I agree with you on that one, Kitty. Welcome back, Ganja. I'm not used to QTEs on a keyboard. That's the main thing. And it fucks me up every time. I'd rather get shot than have to deal hey, with these morons. In here. Give us the light. Hey, I'd rather get shot than deal with all the health conditions that are gonna evolve from us being in this freaking boat. Thanks. There's no way there's oil in that lamp. 
Oh my god. There's no way that wouldn't have been broke with how much how much time this boat has sent, spent at sea. There would have been no oil in that. What is this fucking place? Uh, an abandoned ship. So, I don't know. Dude, even those meatheads seem spooked. You think this ship is the Manchurian goal? Wood the burnings, yes, here and there, streaming now. Yeah. The wick, on the other hand, just shoot the morons, join the pirates, yeah. rise the ranks, exactly and take the over the whole operation. I wish, Llama. I would have taken my chances in the ocean. Gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. Didn't exactly work out. They swiped our distributor cap. But there's megalodons in the ocean. Not in, not now. Megalodons are prehistoric sharks. They don't still exist. All right. Uh, hot so wire. Can't we just like hotwire or something? No, not without no, the distributor cap. We can't hotwire it. We need the distributor cap. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. That hasn't been Listen, proven yet, lady. I just wanted to say that. Look, um, Meg, the moment that I'm they prove that Megalodon still there. exists is the moment I'm never Excuse going near me. the ocean again. I may have kind of. Not that I go near the ocean, anyways, but that's the not the point. I don't want a giant shark you know, jumping out of the ocean to take my plane out. Guys, or whatever. But I. I mean, I we've mean, seen how bad the CGI gets for that. They are to us, so... Yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I. Hmm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. <laughs> cool. cool. <laughs> that was the dumbest apology ever. Catch it first, Llama. Yeah, Llama's gotta catch it first. Excuse me while I shoot myself to probably exit the situation with these morons. Nom nom on the back. Meladon. Go grab army. Alright, Llama. Alright, so we're gonna look around for a minute. Wait, 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 what's this? What happened here? We don't fucking know. Gangling, 1947. Missing Iraq, 24 British. And archaeologists have gone missing. I'll take a look. Alright, so people have gone missing. Bring me the shark. Meg wants a shark. Meg is a shark. That's why she wants the shark. Megalodon could still be kicking in the last 20 years. A prehistoric dolphin that has been... Was its main food source washed up on the beach? Oh, real, okay, kitty. Real creepy. They're just spectacles. What's creepy about it? All right, boss man. What's the plan? I really don't want to know what these guys are gonna do. But keep your eyes peeled for another uh, bomber. Do you think this ship won? Conspiracy theories here. And there's a tracked shark that's been tracked swimming way faster than great white should scientists think a megalodon might have eaten the great white oh i'm really scared all right um great of all the places i'm gonna die on a bona fide ghost ship miss j revere apartment two uh da -da -da. hey baby doll i miss you like crazy three months until my next leave and I jump in your arms. Three months I've been on some shore leave with the guys and I had a few beers. Don't worry. I'm keeping everything ready for you if you catch my drift. So how's work? I hope the boss of yours is leaving you alone. I know you can take care of yourself, but I feel helpless being so far away. I want to keep you safe. I get a lot of time to think while I'm guarding the cargo holds. It's dark, spooky down there. 
Some of the other guys I've seen a figure roaming around, but it always got, but I've always got you with me to keep me safe too. I will be there with you. Uh, we'll be happy together. Love you so much, Miller. Interesting. Yeah, they definitely put a turbo on it. Little boosters behind the gills. Exactly, Meg. Exactly. Now I probably had some of the meth <laughs> washed up on the shore. That's a that's a possibility too, Llama. Any luck? I can't get it open. Hey, come here. We're totally gonna fuck up time events. I I I curb everybody's dead anyways. If we could bust it open, freedom. No, where a bit like this would go. But you know the the Raye shark. Wherever it leads, it can't be worse than here. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh, you yeah, you know sure. it's Big it, just so long as they don't look like the so megalodons that we see in the shark see movies, we'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. Conrad, you do it. Uh, distract? Hey! Yeah, you, Long John Silver and shit, but what are you guys doing out there? Pizzas of eight and shiver me timbers, you one-legged fuck face. Yeah, you smarmy farmants. Yeah, no, you, I'm gonna rip your pirate parents off your shoulders and stomp them into rainbow-colored stew. Hey, hey. I'm warning you. I am an American citizen. <laughs> really want my president yeah. after you guys because he will. You. Each and every one of you personally. Very, very personally. Hey, can you hear me? I I'm talking to you. Hello? Conrad's so gonna get killed. Posted it on memes? Okay, Ganja. Uh, replace. Random fact, Megalodon teeth are North Carolina state fossils due to the amount of them found near our coast. Ah, okay, Luna. That's kind of cool. I didn't know that. Hey, we got pinups. I love with the dummy place. Come on. There's gotta be some stairs around here. We're all gonna die down here. I hope everybody is aware of this. Extra guard duties due to the special security mission. Double guard duty on all doors, no talking, playing games, smoking off guard personnel, found breaking any of these regulations will be meant to da, da, da. Nobody's allowed into A3, seriously nobody. Okay. You've seen a few, never found any yourself. Just go out the door. Thank you. Spooky. What's gonna jump out at us? Then there's the mystery of the smelly socks and pungent briefs. Something's gonna jump out at us, I just know it. What do you mean Luna has another seat? What seat does Luna have? Oh, Luna has the bit seat. Oh. Nice. Sweet. Thank you, Luna. They come up in the dredges fairly often. I bet they do. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, 
Okay. Alright, there's a pair of pants in there. This is what'll jump out at you. Oh, Daryl, just enjoy your emote, damn it. We haven't explored 95% of our ocean, so I'm willing to expect that things long thought dead are still alive. Yeah. Run. Oh, look, the spooky fog is still here. You see that? The spooky fog is right there. See it on the ground? See it? I see it. It's infecting our brains. It's gonna kill us. It's gonna kill us all. Alright, let me out of this damn room. There we go. Kitty wants a giant shark tooth. Oh, fuck. Did, did, I, I'm not the only one that saw that, right? There was a chick right there, right here. I just want to know where the hell they all went. There should have been dozens of people on board. Yeah, in Andre, the corner. How could they all just vanish and leave all of their stuff behind? Cargo hold two. Where's the you are here arrow? Uh, obviously not here. Alright, so it, it said cargo hold three was out of bounds. Not two. So why is two out of bounds? <laughs> Fuck you too, game. Alright, so wait a minute. Is this where we're going? Is that where we're going or are we going this way? Why do I feel like... Wait, which, which way are we supposed to go? I, I don't want to miss exploring somewhere. Alright, we're going to explore in here first. Uh, anything in the toilets? Hey, we got a letter. Um, dear Ellis, I'm finally coming home. This is it, darling. One last trip across the Pacific, and I'll be back to you and the girls. I can't wait to see your faces. Tell Ned and Nancy to get excited. They're going to see Daddy real soon. He's got gifts for y'all. I'm sure glad to be back. I see it's hotter than Oklahoma summer out here on land, and there's no escaping it. I've been all right because I got your letters to keep me going. They censor them, which is probably for the best, because sometimes the others steal them to read them, and I don't like them reading our letters. I know it really creeps me out. He keeps telling me. There's a little boy on board, and it sounds like Ted. I know he's just messing with me. There's, There ain't no way we got a stowaway. Our ops guys are far too slick now. The war is over. I bet they'll edit this bit out, but it shows what a place can do to a guy. I gotta go now. For hunt. There's some commotion outside that usually means I'm about to be real busy. Right soon. Hmm. Go to the light. It looks like it's just a room. If you control it so we can go in there, then that's where we're going. He's gonna back soon. There's a corpse hunting them every night because of their little shit. Oh, I, I, yeah. I believe it. Alright, so we got that. I don't see anything else in here. Oh, wait. We didn't need... Anything over here? The aquarium at Fort Fisher, North Carolina has a full jaw of a megalodon. I can walk through it with a slight duck. Yeah, megalodon jaws are huge. You hear that? If by that you mean the terrifying sound, then no, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> Was it something moving? 
Something moving would make that sound, sure. How does this thing have power, by the way? I have no idea. This place is fucking massive. Dude, it's a military warship. What the fuck do you expect? Right, we can't go down the stairs. Aquatic turbines. What exactly do you mean by that, Llama? I'm not well versed on how ships are powered, so you're gonna have to gonna have to explain that a little bit to me. Do they provide the duck? Hydrate imposter tree. Alright, alright, alright. I will, I will hydrate. Nope, oh, we found a book. By the way, I swear I saw an arm in one of the stalls in the toilet for a moment, you guys. Uh, that's very possible, but I did not see it, but I have no idea. Alright, I don't know. I don't see anything on that. Oh. Alright, stretch. Everybody stretch! <laughs> All right, Meg. Do they provide the duck? <laughs> Everybody do a stretch. Check your posture. Probably not the ship. Probably would be diesel. Yeah, that's probably true. Alright, uh, June 19th, I identified a problem area with structural bitterness and cracks in some sections of Cargo Hold 1. I instructed our shipwright to carry out the necessary welding repairs. I advised the captain to go easy, especially in bad weather. Any aggressive movement could cause the ship to break its back. Uh, to break it back. Uh, June 20th, I responded to a complaint that some electronic equipment had been malfunctioning recently. I discovered growths of tiny whiskers around some of the components. I cleaned and added lead to the solders, which has stopped the equipment shorting now and should slow down the growth. June 21st, I conducted a thorough weekly engine room inspection of fuel oil fluid, which showed lower levels of cylinder oil than expected. I have reminded staff in the engine room to be attentive and vigilant with their hourly checks and to alert an engineer if there is any lower loss of pressure june 22nd the ship is caught in a heavily electrical heavy electrical storm which began shortly after midnight the lightning strikes caused a lot of electrical arcing traveling through hosting cables aloft decks which has left damage the grease has boiled up and destroyed some of the cabling. I've received reports that the main problems caused by the storm are with electrical equipment at the moment. It's likely the tiny whiskers haven't helped matters. Despite the rough sea, there have been no reports of any structural damage. However, I'll have to work thoroughly through the night to make full damage assessment. I didn't say to go back. Okay, I think that's it. Never. Uh, if they were not so big and could go into levels they do, they would eat 150 people and think we was a potato chip. Ah, okay, kitty. World War II era cargo ships ran their electricity off. Uh, Daimo, I would require the triple extensive engines to be running. They run off fuel oil. Uh, battery life would be less than 10 hours. Okay. Right, do we have anything behind us? Nobody is concerned by the amount of whatever this weird fog is on the floor. 
Because that would be concerning me. Alright, looks like a mouse. Rat. Maybe. Yeah, rat skull. Why do we keep setting our flashlight down? Okay, wait a minute. These are all... Okay. Let's try this. No, you... You mother... F what the fuck? I'm not even clicking anything! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my goodness! Only warships at that time had gear turbines. Just some dry ice, nothing to worry about. Okay, now. They don't worry about fog because they're accepting they're going to die horribly. Oh, they're going to die because I missed a quick time event. And that, that's just the way it is getting. Thursday the 12th. The skipper has okayed the booze for this whole goddamn trip. There's nothing like being sober to make you realize just how quiet the ship is. There was a fight between those dumb schmucks Wilson and Anderson right after we sailed, but Ferris nipped that in the bud real quick and have been quiet as church ever since. I got talking with a feller who had helped load up the ship. He told me they put a bunch of coffins on board, which isn't so weird, maybe. He said they're was some guy who made sure the coffins were all put in one of the holds just right, real precise. Not the treatment you'd get if you were an old grunt. It got me thinking, who could be in those boxes? Booze was a bum loss. Pert said he felt drunk after four cups, but I said he was talking baloney. It was like dishwater. Hers, Perez said they made some hooch from some supplies they lifted, meeting up later down on 6 to check it out. Saturday the 14th, just heard one of the guys here snack a look at those boxes. Gonna go find him and see what he saw. Maybe he can even help me get in to take a look. It's all set. He, he reckons he can sneak me in and we're gonna take a look tonight. Alright, wait a minute. What are they wanting to look at? Why are no. Thank you. Alright, Saturday the 15th. It's all off. The guy who was going to help me get in the hold has been signed off sick. Doc Finley thinks he's got... He's some kind of flake, which might be true, but Miller says it's something else. Something weird about that place. Miller... Miller kind of a twitcher. Wouldn't want to be caught in a pinch with him, that's for sure. Tuesday the 17th. Perez said that the boys made more hooch too bummed out to sneak and try some. But what else is there to do? News. New batch is worse than the last one. Never listening to any damn fool idea from Perez again. Saturday the 21st. Last night I was on duty with... Was well, well, was it? I have no idea how to pronounce that. And God damn it, if he didn't creep me right out, he got spooked and started babbling about some sergeant called Jones that went MIA in the jungle. Reckon that Jones and his crew were the ones in the boxes traveling home 
just like us saps. I sneaked a look in Jesus, and there it was, just like the guy in the portrait said, all laid out real nice. Old glory over each. If it's Jones in there, they've done him proud. Good old Uncle Sam wouldn't leave any of us out there. He'd make sure we'll come back. Hmm. Okay, so the bioweapon stuff took several days to seep throughout the ship. So it wasn't something where, like, the, the, the lightning strike and then everything, um... Oh, we're all gonna die. Alright, so... It wasn't anything where, like, uh, everybody went kind of crazy within the first, like, hour or so. It took several days for people to start feeling the effects of it. Because it was working its way through the ship. But now that it is through the ship, we're probably going to feel the effects of it much faster. Because it's everywhere. Wait, wait, I just walked this way. There we go. This isn't the door we came in, is it? No, okay. Where did we get a flashlight? I just realized this. Where did we get a flashlight? Minor dosing, slow and gra gradual, gradual decline. Yeah, exactly, Curve. Junior? Wait, who's Junior? I'm gonna go get him. I don't remember who these pirates are. Uh. Now's our chance. Grab it. You can't watch my back. What do you think I've been doing? <sighs> okay. Keep an eye out. Oh yeah, that's not smart. Are you freaking kidding me? Everything is covered in rust. And, and, oh my goodness. Not a way to get yourself cut and infected and everything else. Don't rat. Come on, we gotta get this through, man. Oh my god, will you wait? <sighs> oh crap. Okay. So we tried to warn them, but did they listen to our warning? No. Come here. What the hell was she doing? God damn it, they're taking place. It's just a flashlight. 
He's holding it like it's a gun. It's just a flashlight. Arrête de crier. Je sais d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. Hit him over the back of the head. He's got his back to you. Okay. All right. I see you. Come on. I told you I'm gonna end up getting everybody killed. <laughs> Dude, quit quivering. I'm out of your sight. What are we doing? I thought we were following them. We gotta keep our distance. This way we can get ahead of them. Let's hope it's faster. I got this. Wait, why would you do that? Uh, um... The choices that some of these characters are making are making no sense. Like, I'm not even getting to make these choices. They're doing this. Alright, internal memo. Look at the makeshift chapel. Oh, good God. Why do I need to see this now? To all crew, Area 7C has been converted into a temporary chapel of rest for the duration of the vo voyage. All crew are required to be silent and respectful when passing near Section 7C. Signed, Captain Moore, Captain Moore Chaplain. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Is there something on the back of that? Nope. Okay. It's called Respect for the Dead, you freaking troglodytes. Yawn's okay, I gotta lay down. I understand, Luna. I mean, I, I don't know how much... I'll probably find the next checkpoint. Maybe we hit an iceberg. I'm feeling sleepy tonight as well. <sighs> what is with this place? Locked up. We hit an iceberg. We're going down. We hit an iceberg. We're going down. I mean, we're not even in the right temperature zone to hit an iceberg. What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, wait a minute. I want to check this room over here. Wait a minute. We've been here before. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, I swear we've been here before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? Come on, guys. We gotta keep moving. We haven't been in the kitchen before. What are you talking about, bitch? This is a first. Jesus. Ugh. God. Alex, what is it? Uh, sure. Fuck. Come look. Ugh. See for yourself. Ugh. What's this? Hey. According to this, today's beef casserole. Mm, yummy. It's as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. The whole ship just stopped functioning. It did grind to a halt on this one day. 
This was the day everybody finally went insane. Take it with you. Dude, I'm telling you right Stay now. Easy with that. We shouldn't be screwing around right now. Nice blade. Could make a nice severance package for my assailants if you catch my drift. No, we yeah, it's take it. We though. need it. I mean, duh. We found a weapon. We have no weapons. We gotta take it. Yeah, that menu wasn't too bad. Not really. When you think about it. I mean, there's no guarantee it actually tasted good, but... They had a menu. Why would you... Oh my goodness. Ugh. Soup du jour, mademoiselle? I'm it sure it will be no way... It'll in no way backfire. It will not backfire. Just messing around. It'd be dull in the first three or four weeks. It doesn't matter. It's better than nothing, damn it. A weapon of some sort is better than nothing. This way we go. It's... This is go this is where we dance, my lady. Come dance with me, and you'll see a world of pure imagination. And you'll find Caroline. <laughs> oh, it'd be dull. Oh, the menu. Okay, I see what you mean, Curb. Okie dokie, I'm back. I had to check on the pork and stars. Uh oh. That's not good. Totally not a weapon. To I, I know. I know, Llama. They're perfect bottle openers. You're able to open two beers at once. They're fantastic bottle openers. What's not right? What are you going on about? No? All right, then. We should keep moving. I know I saw something. It was moving in the shadows. Uh, annoyed. Let's go. Julia, just try to get a grip. Don't fucking laugh at me. Uh, I'm gonna laugh at you. Let's go. What do you want to do? Turn around? We've seen all this before. Cool, Jim. Julia, this is a fucking boat. Down. They all look the same. That's why the no the halls are numbered. That's why you have to learn how to read numbers on a boat because everything okay. looks the fucking no, same. This isn't working for me. What? Obviously, you haven't been here before. Crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? It's coming for you. See, Daryl, you found a use for my, uh... There's no such thing as ghosts. You found the use for my emo. There are ghosts now? Well, no. There's no such thing as... Well, you know that, and I know that, but do the ghosts know that? But do the ghosts know that? <laughs> okay, listen. Sure, it's freaky, and it's disgusting, and it's a little depraved, but they are just a bunch of dead bodies, and I'm sure they are going to stay dead. That's what you hope. It's where they're hosting the bodies of the dead. Well, that's weird. All this space? How is this any weirder than anything else we've seen today? Why would they have such a big cargo hold but not keep anything in it? I'm still waiting to see the gold. Uh, how do I open- how do I interact with this thing? It says I can interact with- there we go. We're gonna be disrespectful, everyone. You ready? Um Look at this. It's insane. Is it even 
human? I mean, was it ever human? What's the deal with this place? That is some bad mojo, dude. Okay, leave. Now. Leave, leave, leave! Pirates versus zombies versus morons. I mean... Hey, we got a name on this guy. What are they even doing here? I don't think stuck on a ghost ship for all eternity sounds like a good plan A. Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. I mean, at least she's practical about it. What's this one say? Got some serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Well, that's one way to end a relationship. <laughs> that's one way to end a relationship. <laughs> Look at this one. Like for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Get out of here. Yes. Maybe that's little baby Dracula. Right there. And those are his parents. And they're lying in the dirt from their native country. And then and they all jump on Conrad and eat off his face. <laughs> the end. That was this. Alright, there's something glows right here, but I don't know what it means. Come on. Activate so where I can touch you something. Alright, no, the glowy went away. Is it just the coffin? Okay, let's see. Oh. What is it? Look! What? Seriously? Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? Uh, I'm not going to admit to the you fact that I jumped. Here. Okay. So we're seeing things. We're definitely seeing things. Okay. Chemical warfare, my friends. Drive your enemy insane. What better things could you do? Can we please hurry? I'm done sightseeing. Roger that. We gotta get a place. No time to lose. I don't admit anything, Llama. What the hell is making that sound? Uh, what sound? Whoa. Why so spick and span? Oh, wait a minute. What the fuck? Fuck! Hey, this is no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. We're seeing things. That was not what was there just a second ago. Oh, what the fuck? Don't touch it! Why did you touch it? Okay, now, I don't even understand that, but okay. Um, we're seeing shit. Rats scare ladies. Severed heads are fine. <laughs> I mean, it's okay, Daryl. It's all fine. It's all fine. Everything's fine. It's a, it's all fine. It's fine. There's nothing, nothing going on here. It's all, it's all good. What's over here? Any medicine we find in here? Yeah, this would be way out of date. Alright, come on. Oh, the fuck. Aspartame? What is that? Conrad, take a couple of these. Hey, where'd you go? Uh, looking for a second opinion? I think he needs first aid. I, I agree. Definitely seems legit. I don't understand why these rooms are so clean. He might require mouth to mouth. I'm not doing it. She can do it. Where the hell is Conrad? Conrad? Maybe just get him some air. 
Alright, so this guy died on the ventilation? What the hell? Looks like he died of fright. You can't see that. I mean, I can try. This place would stink, wouldn't it? Or would the smell have disappeared okay, so by now? This guy had appendicitis, which is pretty routine, and then then he died of a massive heart attack, which is not routine at all. Hashtag nope. Nope. I forget, did this guy say what he was going to school for? Probably minor smell by now. I feel like something. I feel like I'm missing something. A rat's gonna come crawling out of him, isn't it? Okay, nothing happened. That's fine. We're leaving. Probably smells Connie? of rat piss now. Oh, okay. Connie! Connie, where the fuck are you? I love how they're yelling and there's pirates on the boat. Connie! Quiet down. Shh, quiet. I can shout if I want. Hello, JC. Thank you for joining you us. Hope you're doing well. Uh-oh. See, this is why you don't yell when you're in a boat and everything echoes, you dumbasses. <laughs> Alright, Daryl. Where are you <laughs> Thank you for the hundred biddies and trying to jump scare me. <laughs> Lower deck workshop. Tell me where we are going, damn it. The reception ran long tonight, I understand. Hopefully your worker weekend has gone well. Or are you there for the whole week? Are you at the conference or whatever for the whole week? I forget. Hey! Back off! Leave that alone. Yeah, she, he, she was screaming like a freaking moron. You don't scream when you're in one of these Extra boats. Wife. Oh, we're so gonna have every disease in the book. There ain't no way we wouldn't have walked, stepped on something by now. Stop. Okay. I don't like it when dudes with guns get jumpy. That's not a good thing. It's okay, they already had the worst disease of all, lack of common sense. That's true, Kurt. Kurt, 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 Kurt. Words are hard and names are harder. That's true, Curb. Back tomorrow? Okay. It's a body, dude. Damn it. Okay, maybe it's not a body. These two really need to figure out how to take advantage of situations. The number of times this guy has turned his back on them 
They should have already been able to knock him the fuck out. I don't know what it is, but okay. These two have no sense of self-preservation. Shoot it anyways. <laughs> what was that noise? What noise? JC has been away from us all night. I thought he he got lost. He has been lost. We've missed JC. We, we, we missed our JC. Oh, fuck. What the hell? There would be pressure in those... Oh, my goodness. Keep moving. Fuck you. Haven't we been here before? Shit, <sighs> Christ. Oh Christ. That guy. That guy's probably still right here with us. I mean, you die on a ship, your ghost stays on the ship. Come on. You have no idea what you're talking about. The guy's gonna the the, the it's not good to have somebody like him with a gun behind you. You're gonna end up shot. What do you think happened to this guy? Say something like that. I don't know. Looks like nothing I've ever seen. I don't know what the fuck this is all about. But we gotta keep moving and find Olsen. Now. They've been literally scared to death. Olsen? Mayor. I don't like those death sounds I'm hearing. Oh yeah, that's not creepy at all. Totally normal, not creepy one bit. But I think we've already decided that we see things. Hey, I just wanted to see the picture. You asshole. Just let me see the picture, you fucking prick. They all should have been shot ten times over. Ah, the good old hallway shot. Exactly. Exactly, Curve. The quasi fall down. What the fuck? Okay. What just happened? I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna follow the crazy dude. Say what? Come on, we should keep moving. I'm so fucking confused. Can I go back and look at that picture? There it is. That's what I want. At conference, back to normal soon, guys. I know, JC. Okay. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but okay. Dude, you're creeping me out. Is there really nothing else this way? Where'd the other guy go? Where did he go? Oh shit. Uh, I fucked up.
Me and the quick times in this game do not get along. We need to find a way up on deck. <laughs> oh my god. I, that that I was not expecting. That's <laughs> that startled me. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the cheapest fucking jump scare, and they do that shit because it fucking works. That can't be a good sign. Oh. Hey, shut up. What are you doing? Huh, what's this? Guard duty, location 3A, officer on duty, Carter Watts, Reed, Miller, Davis, Perez, Griffin, Peterson, crossed out, O'Neill. Strictly no unauthorized entry to guarded areas. Do not leave your post until you're relieved. Oh yeah, that's not creepy at all. That's definitely not creepy. We're gonna take it. It is mine. Oh, Jesus, what happened down here? We don't fucking know. If we knew we wouldn't be here. Cause we wouldn't know better. Oh come on, walk around him, thank you. Alright, so... Charles Perez. Rex Perez, da 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 da. So this is Perez. Okay. Um. What closed the door? That makes no sense. That makes no sense. What closed the door? Sure, you know where we're going. Fliss? Uh, Fliss? Hello? Uh. Okay, everybody. <laughs> Alright, so. It is now almost 11 o'clock and I unfortunately do have work in the morning. So... We have to end our wonderful time together here. Um.